Ladies and gentlemen, please bow your heads. Almighty God, we bow before you on this wonderful day, a day rich in military tradition, honor, and pride. To thank you for your unmerited blessings and unwavering love, we offer thanks and praise for granting us the strength and ability to attain this goal, earning the privilege to lead soldiers in the world's preeminent military force, and to constantly exemplify for our country what is morally right and good. As we leave this academy and return to our places of duty, we will seek your hand to guide us, grant this resolve, strengthen and wisdom to overcome the challenges of leadership that await us as we zealously support and defend our Constitution. We humbly beseech your continued blessings and guidance for our army and our nation in these difficult times. And we seek all this in your holy name. Amen. Today we honor the graduates of class 121. Of the 396 initially enrolled, there are 393 graduating today. The Basic Leader course is a 22-day training program consisting of 169 academic hours. It is MOS non-specific and requires soldiers from combat arms, combat support, and combat service support to interact and work as a team. Instruction at the Basic Leaders course is accomplished through the use of the Army Experiential Learning Module methodology. Lessons are facilitated in a small group setting with a collaborative approach, which allows soldiers to discover information and then apply it to the new and ambiguous situations. Basic Leaders course focuses on six leader core competencies, readiness, leadership, training management, communication, operations, and program management. The course is designed to build the basic leader and trainer skills required to lead a team-sized element while providing the foundation for further development along the professional military education learning continuum. To overcome the unprecedented challenges of conducting the course during a national health emergency, academy staff and faculty work diligently over three weeks to develop and implement a distance learning program that met every standard in the program of instruction, while also safeguarding the health of the PLC learners and academy personnel. The soldiers received uncompromising essential training that will facilitate their assumption of critical leadership positions in our Army. They are now fully prepared to accept the responsibilities and overcome the inherent challenges of leading soldiers in the world's most competent and lethal military force. Today, we present you fully prepared to return to their units and eager to accept the responsibilities of leading, training, motivating, and caring for the soldiers in their charge. Good morning to all the commanders, command sergeant majors, distinguished guests, sponsors, family, and friends of Basic Leader Course 0121 watching this event with us virtually. Thank you for taking the time out of your schedules to honor today's graduating class. I want all the soldiers in this class to think about a very important line from the creed of the non-conditional officer. All soldiers are entitled to outstanding leadership. I will provide that leadership. Why of all the lines within the NCO creed is that one important? If we think in terms of ownership and pride, then it should be pretty obvious to you why it is important. People should be your first priority and providing that outstanding leadership, you are setting the example they will emulate. You are taking care of them because they are in your squad. Being the leader you want to be led by. This may seem very simple, 
but are you prepared to put in the time, effort, and sacrifice necessary to, to provide that outstanding leadership? Nothing worth doing is easy, and it certainly doesn't happen, does not happen because you speak about it. Things happen by being a fit leader with character who has the values ne ne necessary to lead with empathy. Know your people and ensure you use sound judgment and interpersonal tact, all while maintaining your mental agility. And finally, do the extra things, things it takes to provide that outstanding leadership. Build trust, lead by example, create a positive example, and set and get results. Winning matters. You are the future of our great army and you have the ability to accomplish great things. This is my challenge for you. Make your family proud, make your nation proud, make your soldiers proud. They are your squads. Make your squads the ones that everyone wants to be a part of and led by. If you take on this challenge, not only will you put people first, you'll win. They will know they are in your squad and more importantly, they'll be proud to be in your squad. If you wish, I wish all of you the best of luck as you move back to your formations. I have no doubt you will accomplish great things. Thank you and have a great day. The creed of the non-commissioned officer. No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. As a non-commissioned officer, I realize that I am a member of a time-honored corps, which is known as the backbone of the Army. I am proud of the Corps of non-commissioned officers and will at all times conduct myself so as to bring credit upon the Corps, the military service, and my country, regardless of the situation in which I find myself. I will not use my grade or position to attain pleasure, profit, or personal safety. Competence is my watchword. My two basic responsibilities will always be uppermost in my mind, accomplishment of my mission and the welfare of my soldiers. I will strive to remain technically and tactically proficient. I am aware of my role as a non-commissioned officer. I will fulfill my responsibilities inherent in that role. All soldiers are entitled to outstanding leadership. I will provide that leadership. I know my soldiers and I will always place their needs above my own. I will communicate consistently with my soldiers and never leave them uninformed. I will be fair and impartial when recommending both rewards and punishment. Officers in my unit will have maximum time to accomplish their duties. They will not have to accomplish mine. I will earn their respect and confidence as well as that of my soldiers. I will be loyal to those with whom I serve, seniors, peers, and subordinates alike. I will exercise initiative by taking appropriate action in the absence of orders. I will not compromise my integrity nor my moral courage. I will not forget, nor will I allow my comrades to forget, that we are professionals, non-commissioned officers, leaders. Don't let the army go rolling along. 